Well, it seems to me that young adults have been participating in this group for well over a decade. They come to experience authentic Christian fellowship, to study God's word together, to pray, and to support one another as growing disciples of Jesus Christ. Hi, I'm Pastor Mark Manning of the Living Water Ministry. Let me take a moment to tell you about the single men and women who have been participating at our church. It all started years ago with a group of Asian American graduate students in the St. Louis area. Joining them were students in college, together with people early in their careers. I think for each person, the goal has been to develop a strong relationship with God, a relationship with Him that will last a lifetime. There is, of course, the desire to meet new people and make new friends, to build relationships with others that also will last a lifetime. The words of Jesus in John 13 come to mind. A new command I give you, love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. I find that these young adults really experience this kind of love and learn how to express it to one another in so many ways. At one time, they called themselves the Agape Fellowship. But most of the time, they refer to themselves as the Transitions Group. They are transitioning from college to graduate schools, to careers, and for some, even into marriage. God has a special plan for each person as an individual, and they support one another through life's changes. My opinion is that they are great men and women, coming from quite a range of backgrounds, whether it be Asian American or otherwise. It's the kind of unity we read about in Galatians chapter 3. There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Young adults in the Living Water Ministry enjoy a great variety of meaningful activities. They go on retreats, picnics, road trips, weddings. They enjoy to laugh, to eat, and to celebrate special occasions in their lives. But it's not just about themselves. They also want to reach out to make a lasting difference in the lives of other people, especially people who are disadvantaged. I've seen them show God's love to people who have special needs and disabilities. They have served meals to the homeless in the inner city. And year after year, they have participated in a summer mission to the Navajo Native Americans in Arizona. A lasting relationship has developed with the Navajo people. They have been effective in sharing the gospel of God's love in Christ. They are concerned about social justice and they are encouraged by God's promise in Isaiah 58 where God says, if you spend yourselves in behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness and your night will become like the new day. Our single adult population has varied in size as people have moved on to other areas of the world or transitioned into a different situation. Our desire and our prayer is that many more young adults will come and sample the Living Water Ministry. We think you will find a Christian fellowship and community that will help you to experience a genuine relationship with God, a relationship with Him that will last a lifetime. God bless you.